Okay, welcome to Cool Smartphone Unboxing. This is my first unboxing for the uh, website. So this is the OPPO or OPPO HA2. This is a portable amplifier. So I've not opened this up yet. This is going to be opened up for the very first time. So we did a little bit of spec review on this recently. So let's open it up for the first time. Eh? Exciting. Okay, so here we go. So, very nice box. Ooh. Ooh. Presentation wise, that is bob on. Okay, that is beautiful. Ooh. In US, take it out of the box, it's turned on already. Oh, that's pretty. That's a very, very pretty unit. There we go, so here we go, in its full glory. So you've got a nice line in, headphone socket. So, if my understanding is correct of this, basically we put the audio feed in, we put our headphones in, and we turn this for the volume. A little green light. It's very tiny, it's just down there. This is where we do our amplification. So what else have we got in the box? Standard stuff, good look of it. So we get a rather beastly charger unit. Good old fashioned USB. Not massively powerful either, 25 amps. Um, so we get multiple, multiple language box. What's underneath there? And that's it. So, the bad look of it, you're expected to supply the cables. Let's pull that back in there. You're expected to supply the 3.5 uh, connections. What have we got on the bottom of here? Alright, so we've got our USBs. So, if you connect it to the PC, which we've got a lovely diagram here. So, it gives you all the possible. So, you can connect your phone up by the USB. You've got a connector by PC with various types of USB adapter. Your headphones, very straightforward line. And then you select accordingly your uh, channel of choice. So we'll be back uh, with the magic of wizardry and video uh, with the test. Again, I am kitted out with my Behringers, which is now even harder to put back in my head now. <laughs> I have uh, uh, Taking them off. So, we have the unit now plugged in, the OPPO HA2. And I'm going to be playing some music directly off my iPad. Okay. So let's see how this goes. So I've got the volume up full whack on the unit. Uh, sorry, on the iPad. And then we will go play from there. So we're going to have a bit of Motley Crue. Oh, so. So I'm going to turn this up. Okay, so far so good. So, on here, I'm going to start playing with some of the options. Here we go, here we go, so. Ooh. Let's right, turn it down. So the bass plus definitely works, without a doubt. So let's play with the other option. So just so I can notice the difference, I'm going to take the bass off again. And now I'm going to turn that up. Okay. Can I notice a massive difference? Yeah. Um... The thing with phones is obviously you're quite limited to what the phone does anyway. So I use a HTC One and an iPad. Uh, um, the fact it's coming from a data port probably makes a massive difference. So what I'm going to do now, just for testing purposes, I've got the same song. I'm going to unplug the HA2. 
I'm going to plug it directly into my iPad because I don't actually listen to music through the iPad that often. So let's click it into there. Let's get my face right up close. So we're now, same test again, same Behringer's, same incredibly high volume. So we'll see what happens and see if it's tinny. Oh, that's not that off. So, actually, there is a massive difference. Uh, a lot more surprising difference. Um, without uh, without gain on and without bass, this is automatically better. Um, so straight, straight from Amazon Prime Music through the standard lightning cable, straight into the unit here. The the quality is really really good. I mean these these are about thirty forty quid's worth of headphones. Uh, we will be testing the uh, other headphones, which I think are the PM threes shortly. Um, but if you demand quality, very very good. The portability of it. Would I use it with my phone? No, I pro probably wouldn't use it with my phone. But would I use it in an office environment? Certainly would. Would I lose it in my home environment? Definitely would. Uh, I've got multiple headphones like this scattered around the house. Um, because I listen to heavy metal and rock, you need to hear the bass. You need to hear the guitars and hear the drums. So, um, yeah, if you demand quality, this is definitely up your street. This is If you don't mind carrying something extra around, uh, this is definitely quite it, the feel of it is sublime. It's for how powerful it is for such a small unit. Um, it is sublime. If you do any uh, mobile DJ, you probably get away with this as part of your package. So if you're using a laptop or an iPad to do any DJ in with, you take this with you and connect it up to speakers. Um, you're laughing. You're going to have some so much more power. Um, so statistical wise or statistics wise, they're saying that the operation time via USB is seven hours for analog source. So via the normal everyday plugging cable, uh, it's 13 hours. So obviously I listen to it through a digital source through the USB. Um, so yeah, a, a very, very good product, very, very powerful. Um, it's just if you want to use it with your phone every day, you're going to have to put them in two separate pockets and you've got very very big pockets all right thank you very much for watching cool smartphone i'll speak to you soon